are in this video we're going to talk about traveling to a new country do's and don'ts so if you're traveling to a new country there's a lot of things you kind of want to kind of ways you want to think and mindsets you want to have before you go obviously you don't have to have any of these mindsets if you're going to say um, you know a safer country you don't have to do all these things but I would highly recommend them say you're going to a new country and you've never been there before I would recommend learning a little bit about the country's history learning a little bit about the country's you know culture um, maybe learning a few words in the language people really respect you a lot more if you try to speak their language whether it is yes no thank you please you know where when why just simple stuff, you can learn a few words. Um, people really do appreciate that when you go to a new country. I would definitely recommend, um, do, do kind of look in advance to find out, say you're going to Southeast Asia, find out when the rainy season is. You don't wanna go there for a month and find out that you're there and it's raining every day. Or if you're going to say Bali, Indonesia, you don't wanna go there during the tourist season. If you can, maybe you do, but I mean, I prefer to go places when there's less people and just if you look in advance do a little bit of research and think a little bit about the trip before you go it can make it a hundred times better um, you definitely want to try the local food when you're going to a new country definitely try the local food say you go to um, i don't know russia and you've never had borscht or you've never had um, baklakov 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 or or um, Halva, Halva. There's a bunch of different little things they have there. I actually haven't been there yet, but I've been looking into the country because I'm going to travel there. And so I'm wanting to know in advance, you know, things I want to try before I go there. Um, there's just a bunch of different things that you can miss out on, even in a short period of time of seeing the country. If you don't kind of look into it a little bit, um, another pro to, you know, traveling slower is you have more time to try things out and see things. But um, cons, you know, things you don't want to do before you travel is you don't want to expect that everyone speaks English or your local language. You don't want to expect that everyone's going to like your home country. You don't want to expect that everyone's going to be friendly. You don't want to expect that everything's going to go well because stuff does go wrong all the time. Stuff goes wrong and you're going to be like, Ah, how do I figure this out? But that's one great thing about traveling is it challenges you. You might lose your passport. You might lose your money. You might you might miss your flight. There's a lot of stuff. You might not be able to get a visa. There's a lot of stuff that can happen wrong, but it helps you to learn more for the future. So you plan more and or you just learn how to figure stuff out. It helps you relax and be able to deal with these bigger situations and be like, okay, I've, I've, I've dealt with this situation like this before, I can figure it out. So you really, really grow as a person when, when things don't go the way to plan. So I, I kind of, uh, I dislike it when it's happening, but I enjoy it afterward because like it makes you a stronger and better person. So these have been a few do's and don'ts. If you want me to make a more extensive video about these things, um, just put it in the comment box below. If you like this video, just hit that like. And then if you want to watch more videos about um, how to travel and kind of encouragement for traveling and, you know, travel vlogs, just subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time that I post a video. All right. I hope you guys like this video. This has been NST Never Stop Traveling. Peace out, guys, and have a great day.